Alright guys, welcome back to the end today. I want to talk about the revamp of World Magic, which is interesting because I didn't realize <laughs> since I don't go on the forum that much, but the revamp is interesting. So I decided to give it a look, give it a read, and this might be a long video. <laughs> oh lord. But yeah, uh, I'm going to start reading. Let's see what developer said. Oh, I might need some water. This is a lot to read. Like, it is a lot. <laughs> okay, and then let's see. For about a month, I've been planning this upcoming update to a magic that will completely change the game and revamp most of its flawed, yeah, flawed system. While keeping some of the game the same, this post will dive into details about major changes being done in this update. And explain my reasoning for changing each one. Right, the map. Ever since I started designing World Magic's map, I sort of knew it was going to create problems in the future, but I kept making it anyway. <laughs> I don't think that's good, right? Um, oh, what the heck? That's just glue. Um, but okay. These are these are all problems that are going to be fixed, it, and I'll explain how later on in post. I'm sure most people already know what problems I'm taking, I'm talking about, but i name a few. There's no method of transportation besides flight spell, which are unlocked at a higher level, which is easy to big this issue about the current map. The game is borderline walking simulator as every quest as every single quest and task requires you to run through 500 M plus of wilderness and trees while normally attracting the attention of random NPCs. Hmm, this reminds me of Genshin Impact since I've been playing that lately. Traveling, they have like teleported in Genshin Impact. And killing random NPC, they drop loot. So, and like World Magic doesn't really have that, so it would make the game, you know, walking simulator basically because of that. Which is interesting, you know, because like I never really had a problem walking to like do quests and stuff. Besides, like, walking to, like, town to town, like, Bell Village to, like, Ironport is a pain to walk to. But yeah, other than that, for me personally, I don't have that much complaint, but interesting. Building each area takes much more time, even with the map, yeah, even with the help of builders, so at the most, there can only be one new area or town per update, which makes the map progressive. progression feel really slow coupled it with other massive features. Added area update and because of the main because of the issue above, the more areas that get added, the further the player had to walk to get to point A to point B. Right. That's why like teleporter in Genshin is like really important. But we're talking about world magic here, but yes. yes. Due to the worry culture and player spawning and structure of the area area Every area of the map would have felt the same, just different design. Since player can spawn in any town on the map, and quests can spawn anything anywhere. No area feels truly unique. Mmm. Yeah, that is true. That's true. Okay, okay. And those are only a few of the problems. Jeez. Most of these problems can't be really fixed. It can't really be fixed it without a complete overhaul of the game, and this issue would primarily motivate motivation for this update idea. One day I was in the shower thinking about the ease issue. Oh no, and big word, no, bad ex No, why why do you do this to me? Ah, uh, I can't read it, but about the game's great features of the game's prequel of okay, an adventure when I suddenly thought, why don't I just make the game be islands after this? The entire idea for the overhaul was sparked it. And over the next few weeks, I added more and more ideas to it with the help of Tech Level 80. Damn. <laughs> That's kind of relatable, like, how the developer legs is in the shower. Yeah, sometimes I do that too. Ideas come from shower or in the toilets. Kind of awkward, but, you know, kind of true. <laughs> Overhaul is real is nice, I guess. An island, hmm. That could make the game more fun, who knows, but yeah. So yes, as suggested by most people on the forums due to my main many hints, 
map where we changed it into islands. This is the main splitting the existing map into pieces or anything. I'll be starting from complete scratch with new lore, area, new unique characters, and more islands, area and size, important, importance, and biome, just like they did in the Arkham Adventure, but with even more polish and detail. Wow, that sounds really crazy. Ah, oh, big words and big plans. Hopefully, it's actually good, you know? I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm not exactly the best at reading, guys, so um, do bear with me. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a drink right quick, because paragraph, right? <clears throat> Let's see, where were we at? Uh, changing the map to islands will make expanding the map easier, improve the sense of exploration, add much more var variety in areas, and also allow me to add things such as NPC ships, ghost ship, whirlpools, and more. That sucks. Um, this also solves a lot of issue mentioned above because boats will now be the main form of transportation, which I'll give more info about below. Mm. More sense of exploration. Like sense of exploration, like if there's like things you can collect and like um, you know maybe little things you can interact with would make the sense of exploration for the game a little bit easier. I mean better. Like how Genshin Impact. I'm just talking about Genshin Impact because I've been playing that. I'm addicted to that game. God dang it. You know what I mean guys. Um, uh, we keep reading. <laughs> the timeline of the game in Arcane Universe. Slower. Is also being changed. Which will be explained it later on in the post. Right. Okay. Boats. Of course due to the map being changed into island. There cannot not be boats and ships to go along. Cannot be. There cannot be. Oh uh, yeah, going along with it. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We just need both. Yep. Well, I, I don't think I understand that sentence by reading it. <laughs> oh no. There will be multiple types of boats, just like in Ark and Adventure, each with varying stats and weapons. Oh lord. Oh god. Here we go again. Deja vu of getting killed by random people. Nah. Not that I played Ark and Adventure much, but that's why I remember. Just driving the boat, getting attacked random. Why? Why? Yeah. I also plan on making a ship section of the inventory that allows you to equip different things for your boat. My goal is to make the ship system be similar to Arcane's but with added feature improvement and details. Through these being added, main form of transportation, flight spell will be removed. It. Since player would have no reason to use boat after unlocking full. Yes, that's fair. That's fair. What do I do? I do like flight to cry, but it's okay. I guess we get boats. Hopefully, boats would be interesting. Mm. When I think of boats, I think of like PvP. Like people could like take your stuff from your boat and stuff, which I don't really enjoy. I'm more of a PvP player, like I said again. You know? I've been saying this like throughout basically everything, but yeah. Huh. We'll see, I guess. Um, lore and time period changes. The entire lore of world magic, of current world magic, is that it wasn't a continent formed it by the peacekeeper. It doesn't really make sense that it would be islands created uh, by the key. It doesn't really make sense that it would be created. It would be islands created by the peacekeeper instead. And even then. The ruined it sense would have been too small an area for the game's new story. This is why me and Tech have decided that to change the game's location in the world and where it takes place on the timeline so that it can more properly suit the atmosphere we are trying to create. <clears throat> the new storyline and game will take place in an area of the world called the, the War Seas. Okay. Which is on the opposite side of the world compared to the Seven Seas. This is an area full of warring, warring kingdoms. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know big words, guys. <laughs> uh, my vocabulary is not big, but yes. And also the new area where Mount Olympus fell thousands of years ago. This game, the game will take place about a month after the Peacekeeper defeated the Tsar. On the other side of the world. Right as chaos were ravaging the seven seas. Right, right, right. Magic Council will also 
be changed to something that better fits the area and new lore, but will mostly remain the same. Mm. Okay. I'm not too sick excited about Magic Hand, so sometimes it can be a pain, but yeah. Do these changes? The existing storyline would be completely removed it along with the exiled it and made it to boss. I'm not really sure what happens. What will happen to the item shroud at the moment, but if they are deleted, players will receive the comp, comp ah, compensation of equal if not greater value as they deserve for adapting to the sun change. I can't really give up much more info on the new story without spoiling it, so this is all I will review about it at the moment. Right. Very fair. And then, you know, over here, Google Doc for, you know, Universal Lore, I guess. I didn't really read that. Um, I should probably read that. I'm not a fan of reading, but, hmm, seems interesting. I'll give it a read after this, but, hmm. So, everything will be removed. Well, the boss and storyline will be removed, unfortunately. So, hey, <laughs> if we get something better, um, then like X out his sword and armor or whatever. <laughs> That'd be nice because mm, I have like three set of X out this store up, which is epic, you know. I'm ready to see what those items can be changed into, so that's nice. And let's move on. Um storyline focus, I'm sure many of you have felt the same way about World Magic Storyline is terrible since the game is secret to our human nature. You did think it would start out with some special NPC and such straight away. Instead of focusing the player to basically roam around for the first 9 levels. Yeah, true. <laughs> I do agree. I do agree. This is an issue that we fixed it. The new game will be something storyline focused like a current adventure was. And player will spawn on islands relative, relate, relative to their place in the story rather than spawning in random towns and wandering around from there. My goal oh, of this ah, this game's story is to be at the same grand scale that AA was, but even better and more grand. That's that's really cool. That sounds like the young developer is confident, you know. I give him props. There is a I don't make these games, but it, I don't have these kind of pressures, so props to him. I don't really, I can't imagine the stress of making game would be like, but seems stressful. Damn. All right, let's look at the cultures. Cultures, cultures has have always been a sort of flawed system, flawed system in this game, as they weren't meant to be something that made your character feel unique. Yet at the same time, all you get was reskin of the same weapon and that other culture have. Also, since the lore, location, and timeline of the game are changing, I decided to remove cultures all together. Unfortunate. I loved it, the culture system. If it would like work it better, like you have like unique models or like maybe some kind of feature to make you know, more you more special. But it didn't really have that. But yeah, that's fine. It is what it is. May have a drink. Okay. So when this update releases, player would choose a first and last name when creating the character, and all cultural items will be removed. It. If you have a character ready, you will get to re select new last name when you join in the file. In this update, existing last name will probably be in the list as well. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. I grinded so hard for that those last names, like the perfect last names, like water, like um, there there's too many things. I like ma making like twenty three files was was it took a few days, well almost a month just to get all of them to level 60, 80, you know blah blah. I'm not gonna get them to level ninety because I'm gonna wait for the camp to go high. But yeah, you know that's kind of relevant to what we're talking about. But let's move on. <laughs> An alternative to cultural weapon, uh, weapons will be also added, which are islands. That's that, 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 that. I can't. Li I literally cannot say this word. Like, oh my god. But yes, each island you visit with quote civilization on it will have their own set of armor and weapons that you can buy. Hmm. Let's hope they maybe have like stat changes. I don't know. 
like if the armor had like different look, different model, different stat, and whatever they do, they would feel more unique. But you know, it is what it is. Ah, my neck. I have like Genshin open in the background. <laughs> um, don't mind me, guys. Let me let me close Genshin. <laughs> I've been too addicted. I've been farming so much. You guys might have like heard um music in the background, but shh, shh. you guys heard nothing. <laughs> but yeah, NPC changes. Um, NPCs are another huge flaw of the game. Yes, the fact that every NPC can run around. You killed it and talked it to is nice and immersive, but the gameplay wise is a huge hitch to performance for most player. On average, current map has. About 330 NPC on it at all times. Damn, that's crazy. Through this problem, in order to make the game less annoying, all NPC besides enemy will now be stationary models that can't be killed. Oh, uh, okay. This fixes the issue mentioned above, and also two other major issues that the game, the current game, has. Shawners having sleep pattern and being killable makes it a chore to sell, upgrade, and enchant. Sleeping NPCs can't give quests and are essentially just dead space performance wise. Yes, right. Adding to the storyline would have been. Ooh, big word again. Something annoying later on when there are more special NPCs. You think about it, imagine having to talk to a powerful magic user as part of the hero storyline. Bad rep here. Storyline would have to have been able to fight them, or it wouldn't have been consistent. Yeah, with the rest of the game. This means that every time a special NPC is added to either storyline, it is essentially adding a new boss or mini boss, which would have taken much more time overall. Right, 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 right. Hmm. Mm, I think I haven't I haven't thought deeply about like a powerful magic user fighting another. I I really haven't thought about that, but hmm. But yeah, whatever. Yeah, I won't think about it just yet, just because I want to read everything. But yeah. It would be sad to see this feature go since it's a staple of real magic. However, if it means that overall gameplay performance performance and performance is improved it is for the best I hope you understand yes of course like if it makes the game better in general like by all means like you know well for me personally I, I'm like super okay with anything that happens to the game as long as it doesn't affect my character slash inventory you yeah. I well as a player you know nobody want to lose their loot right yeah. Let's hope the gameplay doesn't change so much to be honest. Hmm, I think it will be still fine, right? Arcane Adventure... Hmm... I'm just thinking like gameplay from Arcane Adventure because like it's more like Arcane Adventure but like better somehow, which I cannot imagine right now. But we'll see, right? That's the surprise, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, Hostile NPC will now also only spawn in preset locations. But there will also probably be a random event system where groups of NPC can appear on islands. Ooh, that's fun, that's fun. Quests, the quest system was a nice idea on paper, but not when actually executed. Eventually, there would be, there would have been a lot of type of quests, but even then, the fact that they are random and from random NPC just made the game feel soulless in a way. Quests don't actually contribute to anything besides your own level and XP, and that same NPC that lost his hat will probably lose it again within a day. Yes, they have short-term memory loss. Ooh, it flew! It's like, oh, what did I, what was I missing again? And like a day later, they realize, oh, I was missing this hat. <laughs> or something like that, you know? It's interesting. As part of this update, side quests will be manually added, meaning each one will be unique. Some of these will probably be repeatable daily. Daily? Oh, okay. 
Uh oh. So overall, the main fun of leveling would be defeating enemy and advancing storyline from now on. Some of these side quests will also give unique rewards and item to incent. Oh god, big word. Come on. <laughs> Doing to them. Whatever. Something special. Yes. <laughs> Other other smaller features that will be added this update to name a few. Feature performance increased due to changes listed above. Strikes that attack players in smaller boats. Um uh, that gives me deja vu. Me jump me walk in water, shark approaches, ah shit. And I, I get like instant kill in Arcane Adventure. But that was a long, long time ago. I could never really get into Arcane Adventure. Perhaps I'm not used to the RPG back then, but who knows, who knows. Whirlpool's complete UI revamp, revamp lighting and skies. I like the sun so far, but the only thing I complain is like the um, texture of like the buildings. Like it, does, it feels, it doesn't match like the um, texture of the sky and clouds. It's like having different quality on this certain no like let me explain it my way um it's like watching an anime with like jojo style mixed with like another style it's like the um, characters have like jojo style and like another <laughs> would be like having another style i cannot bring out like ja ex an example right now but like it's like the location looks a little bit different has like a different art style and the character has a different art style that's how I feel about world magic's like buildings slash trees compared to the sky. I don't know if that makes any sense. I might have confused it you guys more, but that's how I see. It. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Temperatures. Um, since island biome variation will be heavy. Uh oh, time to get a heat stroke. Yeah, boy. Mobile compatibility. Oh, hey, that that's like a lot of people what like a lot of people want it I think I don't know this one may be a surprising a lot of people since in the past I said I was really against mobile due to how cluttered it would make the screen I haven't since thought more on it and realized this isn't a real reason just an excuse ah, excuse not to do it ah <laughs> and mobile players should be allowed to play the game still even if the combat would be a bit janky hard to do it will be nice to get mobile fish or collect a few chests yeah that would be really nice yeah the addition of first lost spell scroll which are rarely obtained items that allow you to unlock new spell type for the magic as for the magic it is assigned into right right right, right. lost spell scrolls hmm I'm don't know actually about that but I think I'm more excited for Lost Magic and Lost Spell because like I have no clue how Lost Spell is gonna work like. Like I know it's gonna assign to like the magic and stuff, but, like is it gonna be fun to use and grind for though? Mm, I don't know, but we'll see whenever it comes out, I suppose. It seems there's not much thing said to it, but whatever. Plus much more will be added to the Trello over the next few days, Trello link. Yeah, I, I, look, I look at Trello way too much. Maybe I should go on you know, the forums more, who knows. But yeah, change the update schedule where Magic's first few updates have been very bad from a community standpoint. I, I was really caught up with finishing the shop, added in tans, which was why the first update was a fishing update instead I should. I've been adding the feature that players wanted the most, or want the most, such as magic weapons, fighting style, high level caps, and more story. Mmm. I guess you could say the developer was a little bit selfish, wanted to do what they did. Wow. I mean, it's good to, you know, know that developer has gave it thoughts. Wow. Damn. I don't think I could ever like do this. Like think of it like this. It's like sacrificing a part of yourself to do something that the player wants. Mmm. Wow, that's crazy. Mmm. But yeah. 
magic weapons. Like I was really looking forward to that, like for the fishing update, but it wasn't. It was like kind of removed. So it was like a little disappointed, but like <laughs> I already commit too much into fishing. So yeah, but yeah, fighting style. I'm definitely down for it. Like fighting style and like fist fighting is like. Mm, but maybe like sword fighting would be also nice because like when I think of sword fighting, I think of like an anime and the sword styles and such. And no, you know, you guys watch anime. You know. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you guys could think. You know that. You know. But yeah. Uh, higher level caps and more story. Right, right. After the total game revamp update releases, I'm going to start a new update schedule where I will update the game every two weeks consistently. These updates will add new items, side quests, island, boat, story, and other small features while I also work on bigger features in the background. Once I finish smaller content addition of each of these two updates, two week update, I will work on the bigger features, feature A, for example, fighting style, and the strength brown. Oh, hey, <laughs> oh, strength wrap. Oh boy, and I'm about to see some um berserkers out there, max strength and YOLO with no HP. Um, hmm, very interesting. When whenever we talk about fighting style, I think of like, besides like, like hand style would be like maybe great swords, different swords, different weapon. So I assuming fighting style is talking about those. Like if we ever get like any of those, that'd be epic. So we can pretend to be like certain anime characters. I love to do that. Not really, but well, yes and no. Ah, actually yes. Yeah, I take that back. Yes. <laughs> the bigger features of these updates won't come out every two weeks. Instead, be disabled it before each update, and then add it in one of the two week updates when they are fully completed or complete yes uh bu -bu 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 interesting okay so they're like gonna be added to the one of the two week updates so like they replace the smaller update to update for the bigger one i guess for Two of the weeks, I guess. Interesting. I like my sentence can like register what was going on, so I had to like think about. It. Yeah, bam! This is a long video. Holy crap! Oh no! Almost half hour. I'm sorry to if you guys are still watching. I'm sorry, but like reading paragraphs. Look, like I'm reading so much. I I should split this video, but like too late. I didn't realize it would take this long because I never really read paragraphs too much. But yeah, let me keep reading so I can speed it. This new schedule will, will keep the game fresh, add a new, a lots of new contents to it, and also add a bigger feature eventually as well without that space of 1-2 to two months in between updates. I'm unsure if this schedule will go on indefinitely or if I will go back to this current schedule, but, but I will do it for a few months at the TGR and see how it goes. Right, right, right. I guess like that's the revamp because I still don't know what that like I'm I'm I've been not like on the community too much since I kind of oh total re revamp details right no no total game revamp oh yes yes now I see what it means I see I see all existing data from World Magic will be kept as part of this feature ah as part of this update yay we don't have to start with the game thank you thank you thank you I would I mean. I would mind restarting because the pain of grinding, you know, so I'm glad we're keeping the data, so. But yeah. <clears throat> Since the foundation of games such as Lovos, Magic, EC are saying the same, there's no reason for me to delete everyone's data. Yes, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. You know, like, I would not want my data to be deleted. But yeah. Conclusion, you may be thinking that based on all of these changes, you just turn the game into arcane clone, and you are sort of right. Arcane Adventures, in my mind, was near a perfect game for what it was trying to be, with a few flaws here and there. Since this is a sequel to that game, it's only right that it is similar. True, true, true. 
and improves upon the foundation that a predecessor built. I'm going to try my best to keep the game feeling as fresh as possible and not just copying storyline concept from Arcane at every turn. Right. Well, good luck, good luck. You know. Yep. This update is going to be a complete change to the game, so naturally it will take a few months until then. I'm glad I was able to fix the memory leaks in the current game and make it a bit more bearable to play. Even if the current game completely dies out before TGR is completed, I will still work tirelessly on it until it can eventually be released. The goal of this update is to bring the old players and fans back while, appe while appealing to new players, current player, and also giving them a new adventure in the same universe. So allow me to welcome you to Arcane Odyssey, the true sequel to Arcane Adventures. This is so like dramatic. We I don't have clap. I I don't. I'm too lazy to edit. Goddamn, the developers making me feel very well. I, I'm not doing that much to be honest compared to the developer, but yeah, you know. Damn, that was like half an hour, guys. If you guys are still watching, yeah. Um, nice. And that was, hmm, or listening. Um, that was long. Wow. But like, it seems like there's a lot going on. So, I'm looking forward to exploring. And I'm not. I'm like tired too now. For some reason, it's only 10 p.m. Like. And anyways, guys, I'm gonna go now. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Or tomorrow if you guys are you know watching it as I upload. Well, yeah, you know. Yeah, bye bye.